So one of the really interesting developments about this class is this whole customer development process. It says you start with your business model canvas hypotheses. And in fact, what you really do is you uh, blow up the canvas and you actually post it to the wall. And you use yellow stickies. No pens or pencils allowed because you are going to get most of them wrong. But you're going to make it visible and you will actually begin to construct your hypotheses. And the next thing you'll do is look at them and go, hey, there aren't any facts in this room. Let's get out into the building and talk to customers and partners and vendors and we'll learn how to do this with some rigor, with a process, not just randomly getting out, but actually design experiments, run tests, get data, and more importantly, get some insight. And the customer development process is kind of interesting. The customer development process is actually a four-step process. The first step is customer discovery. This is where you construct your hypotheses and you get out of the building and start testing your assumption about whether other people have the same problem or need you think they have. And then you're going to do customer validation and actually see if your proposed solution actually matches what you think the customer problem was. And this test of between problem and solution and your features and customers is actually sometimes called product market fit. That's what you're out testing. And this is what we call the search for the business model. But now instead of randomly doing this by hiring and firing sales execs and trying to make numbers that really are just random guesses, we're actually going to have you get out as early as possible and test some of these primary assumptions. One of the interesting things on the bottom of this diagram that we'll talk about is something called the pivot. And the pivot is what will save your job. Once you find this repeatable and scalable business model, then you go into the execution phase of customer development. And that's about creating end user demand and scale called customer creation and then building the organizations to actually build your company for scale by transitioning from customer development into a functional organization that's oriented for constant uh, and rapid execution.